Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I wanted to let everybody know, um, do you think that shame, feeling shame, is a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it doesn't feel good when we're going through it, but um, forcing us to reflect if we do, if we feel shame, we can either brush it off or and then too it'll be like, oh, Christians try and shame you and or or the government tries to shame you or, you know, a church leader or um, these different forums or people with beliefs like um, humans are destroying the earth, they try and shame you, like guilt tripping you, you know, that type of thing. Um, but if it, we didn't have shame to reflect on anything and look deeper into our personalities, um, how would we ever better ourselves if that were our intent, you know? Just, just thinking that shame really is a good thing, uh, you know, and probably wouldn't want to go overboard with that. But then that brings me to my topic today. Um, like with the Illuminati or the world leaders or government officials, that would, um, people that would uh, take advantage of others and lie to take advantage of people and that type of thing. Um, feeling no shame about what they're doing, but that isn't the, the worst part about it all, is how they are setting an example of tolerance for the younger generations. It's like, oh, well, you lied, and they lied, or if I, I was a liar, I'd be like, well, you lied, and I lied, so I'm going to overlook your lie, because I'm a liar, and by doing that, neither one of us have to feel any shame about anything, because we haven't done anything wrong in the society that we're living in. This, this world of tolerance is actually putting the next generation in danger by silencing their natural instincts. And I'll tell you why here. Um, just a second. Cheers, everybody. If you don't know somebody's a liar, how many times in your life have you had something really horrible happen to you because of a liar? You know, um, having a society that's morally bankrupt, uh, and not caring about the next generation. Being tolerant of something that's intolerable and sugarcoating it because of our own fault. So, I mean, yeah, shame can go overboard with like these preachers that preach like you were born under sin because somebody else sinned and you carry that. Or you're of a fallen nature and you carry that when everybody is born innocent. Um, Behaviors are nurtured and developed in uh, the person, a person, makes their decisions all the way along the way on who they're serving, you know. Um, but if you can't trust your instincts, if you're taught toleration, to overlook what is untrue, it's like, I forgot who said it, but 
it's a saying that goes, uh, don't confuse, wait, don't, don't confuse me with the truth with facts or something to that extent. Um, like, don't, com like, like, uh, yeah, don't confuse me with facts. Don't confuse, like, your ignorance with facts or the truth, you know. Anyway, if you see what I'm saying. Um, this tolerance that's being shoved down everybody's throats and guilt-tripping people, if you're not tolerant, you know, it's going, it's getting out of hand, and it's putting people in danger with that, because of that. Because how are we to determine what is, to use our instincts, what is true or untrue, if we're all being taught to look the other way when things are false, and to ignore facts and information of truth because we're comfortable in the chaos, because everybody else is um, afraid to stand up and say, hey, I'm willing to offend the whole world with the truth. Um, how many people actually, actually are going to expose themselves or even feel shame and build from that. Who who cares enough to really reflect that deeply? But back to how can you trust your instincts if you, if you're taught to tolerate what is untrue? How do we teach the next generation like um something that is untrue and pushed in society. How do we guard them from the untruths and the falsehoods in society if everybody is tolerating things that are untrue? And that's just what's happening. That's what's been on my mind. I asked Doug this morning, because I always like to try um, what I'm thinking about out on the dark cabal firsthand. First he was talking about, did I know in the Old Testament that they used to sacrifice their children? They'd put them in the hands, burning hands of a god, their god. Moloch, Baal, um, like statues of gold or whatever that they would heat up and literally cook their child and then they'd consume their child. I said, yeah. He goes, well, yeah, it's in there. If you read deep enough, I go, I know all these things, you know, but he's just mocking me because I was telling him about a conversation that my older son and I had um, on cannibalism that my older son had brought up to me in the weirdest of ways. And uh, so anyway, deviate, no doubt. So anyway, and then I asked him, I said, you know, the times you say, well, like, that's a good guy, or that's a good guy, and then you find out that they're not. And then he told me how basically he deals with them because he gives them enough rope like that, and then he fries them, you know. But I'm like, no, it isn't a good man. It's not even a good enough man, you know. But he'll know what a liar is and he'll tolerate it. Um, when people have their own shameful things that they're not going to address. So I asked him, I said, 
So what makes the difference of me and my instincts, and I know somebody's going to do something like shady to you or whatever, and how come I know these things and you don't? Is there something in people that is they're lacking their, their instincts like that? Is there some spiritual connection that they're not getting in touch with that they can't actually sense these things because of the toleration because of their own things and he goes well like that's not right and I said well I know it is and it's not just a theory it's an actual thing that people will tolerate each other's bad ways because they do not want to feel shame about their own. That they want people to tolerate for them. And that's how the dark cabal works. And that's how the brotherhood works. That's exactly what's going on. So, I mean, I told people, like, there's people in Mexico getting some... Uh, research that is done in our country and things that like um, from aborted babies uh, that is illegal in our country so they go into another country to have this done. There's a reason why these things are illegal because of the um, child predation and trafficking, murdering, sacrifice type of thing that has gone on in the past that this all is a part of. And we won't even talk about people that actually leave the country to avoid paying child support or different things or who has been shady in the past. It's these people that are tolerant of other people because of their own ways that they do not want to get in touch with their shadow work and work on their own dark ways because they want it tolerated by everybody else. They're not willing to actually stand a little more upright because they'd probably go along with the evolutionists like um, the Big Bang Theory something out of nothing and we evolved from chimpanzees or we're aliens or lizards we're not actually special we have to be nastied and dirtied up with some other weird fucking thing from these weirdos trying to make money from people out there on every aspect and every um women downfall that Satan could throw in the whole scenario to set people back. It's just, it's disturbing to watch. <laughs> it is. I hope you caught all that. It was, I'm, I'm, uh, actually talking about somebody I know is just a bad actor and said that he gave millions away. No, he had to leave his house and his child because he wasn't right to his wife. Well, she wasn't right and all there either, but ended up going to another country thinking he could live cheaper and um, got stuck and destitute in that. And that was all stemmed from trying to scam his way through life. And this is an actual con artist I'm talking about. An uh, ex-con. Con artist. You know, that I've actually known for a while on here. You know. So anyway. People doing shady shit. I mean, I don't ever want anybody to go without food or whatever, but there are treatments, and these are professed Christians that it's not physician heal thyself. It's like um, who has to die so I can live type of scenario from the Dark Cabal and, uh, and uh, Khazarian Mafia. You know, it's that bloodline. 
that are just like, oh, well, I'm not going to use the Christ spirit to heal myself. God forbid. It's better that I just um, remain a victim because I can't heal myself with the Spirit of Christ, I have to play games with everybody, and then I get sick, and then I have to go to my funky-ass doctors to get fixed. No offense to my doctor friends that watch me. You know what I mean, though. You know, like, I know a good doctor is going to appreciate somebody coming in to them. Some of them, a good doctor, will appreciate a person that knows their body when they come into their, uh, maybe not a medical education, but enough to, to be in tune with themselves and and explain like to articulate it to that doctor so he can help them basically when i go into a doctor and then yeah it's partly my medical training but i'm not in there asking for a second opinion i'm asking for something that i need from the establishment that i can't get on my own or else i'm not in there you know like lab work or blood tests or whatever or like an antibacterial or whatever, or antibiotic that you can't, well, you can get it without them. But that's another story. But, uh, yeah, so I don't really go in there. It's more not even a second opinion, just like I said, for something like, um, like if you need a cast or if you need to be... There's times I've needed to be sewn up that I actually just taped myself together, you know, or wrapped myself together, or, you know, bungee cord, no, <laughs> but, you know, took care of myself. And there's ways that we can actually battle diseases within ourselves naturally. And a good doctor is going to help you do that, too. But there isn't any medical professionals in my country that are allowed to do what they're allowed to do in Mexico. And there's a reason for that. And there has been children, many, 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 um, more than you'd probably even believe that the parts of full-term babies that are um, processed for their parts. And so rich people can benefit from that in other countries. And that's what's going on. So, yeah, I don't want nobody to starve, but I'm definitely not going to patronize or support somebody that I've caught in shady shit too many times. Or when you catch them in shady shit or you even try and help them they get demonic and angry and definitely show me who they are it's like yeah okay you can love on that but i'm not gonna promote it oh it was interesting today I caught most of the good parts of I Shared Archaics, had taken a poll on his Archaics TV when he was on Facebook and um, different platforms, his uh, uh, website of people that he would put on a shill meter from 1 to 10. And, like, Jordan Peterson ranked up there on, like, uh, 10 being the worst. He was, like, about a 7. People that believe, like, and then they they and it took an added poll on what category. Were they ignorant? Were they paid? Were they um, part of PSYOPs, like Tucker Carlson or... Um, you know, or Russell Brand, or these type of people, you know. Um, there's a group of lower level, Masonically affiliated Jewish heritage 
or Zionist people on this YouTube platform that are trying to get rich by pushing the playbook for the Dark Cabal, which would be like lizards and um, aliens and um, fear tactics and uh, that type of stuff. Um, all under the guise of love. <laughs> you know, that's what's going on. So they are a part of that affiliation. Um, just a lower tier of it than what you would see, like the World Economic Forum or um, like um, distant cousins to the ones that are in the public eye. So you have these little, what I call, baby masons are um, all have a gimmick and a scheme and a scam and when one thing doesn't work they'll go on to the next one and there's some that are actually um, a psychological operation with the whole package um, using the scriptures to implement what the dark force would want them to report on on that day you know so like aliens or whatever and what the government's keeping from you and and uh like the dark not the dark web but the um it's called uh whew, i should know it's the archive of everything um, it might come to me anyway. You might know what I'm talking about, where you can go and look up archived information from past generations of this internet so far. Um, geez, there's a name. It's not, I, I might, it might come to me. I use, I usually have it just right there but I have more things on my mind than what I'm discussing. Like, that's not enough, you know? So, yeah, shame can be a good thing. If it wasn't, if we didn't have a conscience, we'd be working for the dark ball. We have to have a... zero-tolerant nat nature to what is, um, to keep the vileness away from our children and keep a society clean, you have to be non-tolerant, you know. Um, it's not like the world hasn't had Christ with them that spirit guiding them. It's not like they're they're ignorant to what they should or should not do. We are not no longer in the days they know not what they do. These monsters know fully what they're doing and they're doing it out of greed and lust and um rage and um flat out demonic insanity, you know, from their practices. What I'm saying is what you habituate becomes a part of you. What you ignore, um, your tolerance lessens your connection with God. And your instincts are lessened with that because of not getting in touch with your own um, lack of progression, you know? So. And that's the truth, and that's my message for today. I'm going to leave you on that note. I love you all. I appreciate you joining me, and I know you get what I'm saying. So, share the information. 
um, these are the important things in the world that I'm talking about, not who do we think is a reptilian bloodline or a fallen alien or extraterrestrial. No, we're human beings and we're all special and they don't want you to know how special you are. But you can't fake your way to the top, damn it. So, peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.